Another question, does this observer exist? The someone believing itself to exist is a part of the illusion. And in that, we are split into two. There's the participant that feels all the emotions and there, there's the observer that is observing what is happening. And you're both at the same time. Now there is no you and there, and there is, um, none of that is happening. It's just an experience in, in the illusion. It's also when, when, when I say illusion and when I say that it's not real, it's that is to understand that if you imagine that you have like this bubble of reality around you and within that your reality is happening, what I'm experiencing is happening right now is completely different to what Leonard is experiencing or what Gabby is experiencing. It's completely different. And it's because we experience with our sense, with our um, uh, perception of senses. So. I, I, I perceive something based on my previous experiences. That's also why if you ask me a question, the first thing I think of is what, what chemistry is involved in this? But if you don't have a previous experience of chemistry, then you won't really think that way. If you have a previous experience of trauma or psychology, then that is what you're going to uh, experience through. So... Hmm. When you ask if the if the authentic exists, then no, mm -hmm. no, it can't, it can't exist. Mm 